What's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the Credit Repair Shop.com. If you did not hear it on the news, I'm gonna hear I'm here to tell you Equifax issued wrong credit scores for millions of consumers. Come on. How can they do this and just get away with just saying I'm sorry? Look at this here. CNN business. Credit giant Equifax sent lenders incorrect credit scores for millions of consumers this spring. This spring, in a techno technological snafu with a major real world impact, in certain cases with errors were significant, uh, significant enough the different differential was at least 25 points. 20, you know, some we had people who would uh, call us and they would say, you know, my, you guys fixed my credit. And when I went to go get my house, when I went to go get my car, uh, and especially with, uh, with, with houses, what they're going to do is they're going to do an average of all three. And then with a car, they may use Equifax, they may use TransUnion, they may use Experian. They only run one bureau. And if they were running it with Equifax, and it could be 25 points less and they said around uh, look at this keyword around 300,000 consumers that some would be borrowers would have been wrongfully denied credit the company said in a statement uh they're talking about the shares fail what about the people's uh that who, when they ran their credit what about that what about their their uh, shares in their own uh ability to to be able to get credit that they had worked so hard to build up and then they're going to run their scores and it's 25 points less they claim it on a code issue which this is a problem that we see with coding issues when disputes are made that they just put into the code to say that it was verified so we can see here the problems that they're having with other stuff that's going on with the bureaus are coding issues. These are also the same coding issues where disputes have been uh, sent to them and they just dump them into a computer and the computer spits out a code and that code says that it is verified, even though it did not go to the furnishers to make sure that that was verified. That is exactly why with my eight point validation process that we do disputes with the credit reporting agencies. And we also do these disputes directly with the furniture because you, there's no way if they have their own coding issues from the inside. And now we're what August, it was, this came out August 4th, but this issue happened to, uh, they said around 300,000 uh, potential people around whenever they say around that could mean double triple we don't know what that could be that number could be but even if it's three hundred thousand people that's a lot of people who were denied and then just think about the people who got a higher interest rate because of that uh 25 point score decrease think about that so you have they have internal issues with this and then they they probably have other internal issues and i'm saying that this stuff these are things that are not just with one bureau these are things these are problems that they're having across the board so if you're working on your credit you have to uh do your uh disputes directly with the bureaus and you have to also do your disputes directly with furnishers the reason why a lot of credit reporting i mean a lot of credit uh, repair companies don't like going to the furnishers is because when you do that it is going to start a lot of back and forth documentation and potential phone calls and they do not have the staff to be able to handle that we do all right if you need help with your credit please visit us at the credit repair shop.com watch the video what makes us different so you can see how I do this eight point validation process in this two-phase settlement process if you need your credit reports and scores go to the website your number three scores.com if you um, uh, have debt collectors coming after you grab my three pack of letters which is in essence a way of going to the furnishers 
furnishers of the information on your credit reports, my statute of limitations letter, cease and desist collection activities letter, and debt validation letter. Thank you for your time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you post your questions and comments. And I do not know what remedy they're going to come up with on this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a class action lawsuit uh, pretty soon. But you know that might be more than a year from now. Thank you.